going through med school and being a doctor can be a haul of a journey. You know, obviously it's four years undergrad, then it's four years of med school. You have at least three years of residency, and I went through three more years of fellowship. But that's about it's ten years after you graduated undergrad. And that's if you did what I did. There are other programs in which you go through even longer than that. And sometimes it is hard to see or have to be motivated on that journey to get where you need to be. And I'm sure maybe you felt the same way as well, whether it's a project you wanna go through, whether it's that weight loss journey you're hoping to get to at the very end, whether it's some other goal that you're aiming for, that end seems so far that it's hard to stay motivated on that trip. I struggle with this and I still struggle with this. I have a goal for my practice where I wanna be, but I wanna get there now. But I know it's a destination that I need to get there. How do I stay motivated to make sure I can hit that path and to know that getting there is the journey that counts, not necessarily the destination. Here are my tips of what I use and what I found to help me and I'm hoping it'll help you out as well. Number one, set realistic goals. Sometimes your goals can be too lofty. So if I have a goal now that I want to be the biggest clinic in the world, okay, that makes no sense. Or if I want to provide the best service known to man, I know I can't do that. You have to be realistic about your goals. Not meaning you shouldn't have goals or you shouldn't have dreams, but be realistic about what you can achieve at that time. What I recommend instead is to have smaller goals that lead you to your bigger goal. Let's say your goal is to lose 80 pounds the next year. Well, that's a pretty lofty goal, but you may want to have micro goals on top of that. Maybe lose 10 pounds in the first two months. These are small goals that will give you to that bigger goal at the end. Number two, find a support partner or a spouse. It is hard to go through this journey on your own. I know I could not have made it to be a doctor or to have my practice without the support of my family and my wife. You need to find a support system, whether it's online, whether it's a coach, whether it's a loved one, find someone to be on that journey with you, to hold you accountable, but also to give you support during those times when you're gonna fall off, because you will fall off. I fell off many times, you will as well, but don't fall off and stay off. Have that partner bring you back up and to get you where you need to be. Number three, keep a positive attitude. All right. Listen, I know the journey is hard. There are gonna be times when you're struggling. There are gonna be times when you just feel bad, but you have to have that positive attitude there. That positive attitude will get you out of that hump and allow you to reach the journey where you need to be. And if you have in place having a partner and having realistic goals, well, guess what? Half the battle's already done because they can help you and those micro goals can help you to get you where you need to go because you know that you can get there and that will get you the attitude to hopefully get you over your hump. That mentality of having that positive attitude will be the thing that distinguishes you from someone else who does not have that intestinal fortitude to break through. Number four, be patient. Change takes time. I know we're all rushing to get to where we want to go, but it takes time. I am constantly reminded of this by my wife. She tells me, man, you are rushing to always get to that goal, but you have to be patient. It takes time. Things have to open up. There are steps that have to be in place. And it's okay to be patient as long as you have those steps there to get you where you want to be. So don't be discouraged if you don't see immediate results. It's okay. It's that destination at the end where you want to be. And trust that your efforts will pay off. Then lastly, persevere. This goes along the same lines of having that positive attitude. You will fall off. You will suck. Things will be hard, but persevere through that. Fight through that. Get through that. You can do this. You can move on. You can really bring in that strong will to get you through it. And I will tell you, Having that perseverance, it's like a muscle. The more you persevere, the more you know you can persevere, and the more you're going to persevere. Take that setback as a challenge to break through and to get where you need to be. With these tips in mind, you'll be on your way for a lasting change and better behavior. Just remember to take things one step at a time and celebrate those small victories on your path to achieving your goal.